A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there on planet earth. Welcome to my channel. And this is a channeling session where very clearly a divine masculine has sent out this message. And I think this channeling came to me right after I completed my previous channeling. And uh, I was in a very playful mood and I was with one of my, two of my dogs who are very like happy dogs. You know, in dogs also you have sleepy dogs, grumpy dogs, possessive dogs, happy dogs. Happy dogs have a different vibe. They're very playful. They're very, very cute. And all dogs are cute, of course, but these two are like always up to some mischief. So while I was playing with them and my mood was really good and... Uh, and I was also very happy uh, for the Divine Feminines who got this very strong congratulatory message from the universe. It always feels good when you get such strong messages from the universal domain because those are really powerful messages. And when they talk about someone who has been in this journey for so many years, it's a big deal to be in the same constant loop for 28 years, 25 years, 30 years, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. But these are very happy-go-lucky divine feminines also. Like they have a humor in them, some kind of humor in them. And I suddenly got this message from the divine masculine who's sitting somewhere, sitting with friends, doing something. And he suddenly has this very strong epiphany. The moment of, of epiphany, like an epiphany which makes him like energetically he jumps up from his seat. Like he goes like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, you know how it is sometimes. So why he does that is because he, he suddenly get this very strong feeling that I can't do without this person. He is obviously thinking about the divine feminine, his divine feminine. And he has this really cute moment where he remembers, he reminisces both of them when they were together having a, a talk about something and it was the most humorous talk or, you know, when he looks at her or when he thinks about her, she also makes him laugh. She also makes him giggle. She brings in a lot of humor. Like when he thinks about her, he goes like, yeah, you know, she's kind of capable of doing those things. Like being funny, being vile, being, being cute, being adorable. He sees her like that. And lately he has been getting these emotions for her because this is definitely for a divine masculine and feminine who are out of the Ravna Chedra dynamic and they are clearly you know, they're clearly like, uh, like we went through so much together and could she be the one for me? Could she really be the one for me? Was she right? All the things that she said to me about true love. She can be the one who can, who can give me true love because she is a, a nice person. And why am I talking about these two dogs specifically? Because their energy, they are, they are very loyal dogs. Being a channeler, being an intuitive reader, animal energies are very important for us. We all also have a spirit animal guide with us. For me, it it was squirrel. And uh, I, I always knew that squirrel was my spirit animal. And many qualities of squirrel actually go with my particular template. And they also match a lot with my human design theme. So I don't know how many of you know about human design. If, if you know, then please comment that you know about human design and also write uh, what's your human design exactly. So the spirit animals really are uh, great uh, guides as well. And they have a lot to do with your transformation journey. That's why I also connect a lot with Sanatan Dharam because in Sanatan Dharam, all the gods and goddesses, all the gods and goddesses, even the fakirs, even the saints, they are very close to animal. So what exactly happens in this channeling is that this guy, this particular divine masculine has been trying to be very calculative, put 2 plus 2, 4, uh, but he's actually in a different calculation because as I said in the previous channeling that, you know, certain things you cannot explain by formulas, by logic, by algorithms, by scientific experimentations to know that, okay, please prove it to me by, by science that God exists. Please prove it to me that love cannot, can be measured in some, um, 
buy some technology buy a weight in kilograms in grams these are the things that you can't do some people try to quantify those things and this is what he has been trying to do that he has been trying to somehow come to this conclusion you know that like okay uh, you know trying to defy the logic trying to be like no 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 she can't be the one though he knows in his heart that she's the one but now so he's basically becoming very intuitive and very emotional which he was not and this is actually a reaction because uh, the divine feminine has become very intuitive uh, very logical obviously she is intuitive but more on many things especially finances business work dealing with people not giving her energy to everyone every dom and they can harry she's become very logical very smart in that area and with, with him he is sitting somewhere and he is thinking with universe like he is talking to some angel some you know like talking to himself actually what i see and he goes like like when was the time she actually said that she really loves me and she she was genuine and he jumps from his chair literally because he goes back in time and he thinks of that vision like it's a vision for him right now because he sees everything like as if it's on a television screen like how she was talking to him and she was giggling and she like hugged him or she just gave him a peck and she blushed and you know all of those things she did and then she went back to do whatever she was doing and he suddenly thought that oh my god because he was logic driven so he used to think if she's going to cuddle me after intimacy or if she's going to hug me or if she's going to send me a message like this or if she's going to say i love you like in in different styles or whatever like he had his own ways of deciphering love so according to that he could not decipher back then he was like no no she doesn't love me she's not the one for me but after the cycles and after all the healing work after inner work after separation phase he has also learned you know when you get kicks on your butt then you learn she got her own kicks he got her, his own kicks both of them got the kicks and both of them learned so now he's actually going back to that scene where he was sure that she loves him and he went like oh my god she did love me she did love me so wow i mean now i i, I remember it and she's so funny and he loves the part about her that she's funny and even now he thinks about all those conversations where she made him laugh where she made him giggle where she made him you know like a happy in a in a nice way where she didn't get offended so he's thinking of all those wonderful things about her in terms of sense of humor in terms of being genuine being real and he's just getting orgasm out of it like he's getting kicks out of it he's going like oh this is this this is called mental orgasm i had once made a soundtrack called mental orgasm i will share it too in the post section but he is getting mental orgasms you know listening to thinking about so i'll share that song music that kind of has that feel too he's he's getting excited with this mental orgasm he, and this is not a orgasm which is based on some physical development it's about how you in your mind you get that epiphany and then it stays and then you go like whoa this is like what a feeling man what a feeling and because he is surrounded by people it's not like they're completely into his zone but there are somewhere around so he just randomly says you know like i just feel that i just feel like i was not here i was having an out of body experience and he's like the per, the friend is like oh really like you were here one minute and you were there somewhere else and he's like yeah that's how i felt i was transported somewhere and i came back and he would never talk all this let me tell you ladies he doesn't talk all this stuff and he had this problem with the divine feminine and he used to have have fights with her or arguments with her over her gifts or something and he actually felt like you know going how it feels like going back in time having a vision getting that download getting a feeling he cannot still put it in words let me tell you because that's not his area of work he cannot put it in words he just had this deja vu moment with her very intense very beautiful very real so he tells his friend that you know i just felt that i was not here and he, and the friend also like wow so normally even his friends would were very negative and very like uh, you know like what the fuck are you talking dude but he has so much intensity because when you experience something no and then you talk about it at that point in time others also know what you're talking about so the friend could feel it 
like he actually took him took it for real like yeah he really means it now they are having this is a very funny channeling i i, I actually am having a good time channeling this so now he's having a talk with his friend and he's trying to you know kind of justify it because you know you know when you have a very similar type of friend and you don't understand what love is and how it feels you know when you are first time going through it and you talk to it with a friend who is a good friend of yours and even the friend is trying to decipher it it's like two people are now trying to decipher it so now first he said yeah so it felt like you went in time and you came back so he's like yeah man i did feel like that as if i was with her and he's like oh it's a her he's like yeah it's a her he's like is that the same her because he has spoken about the divine feminine you may think that he has not he does not but he does talk a lot about you guys i mean you guys when i say you guys it's <clears throat> the divine feminines in the picture you think that he hates you he does not like you at all and you know he doesn't talk to me he doesn't call me there is separation it's so frustrating but they talk a lot about you and especially to the girls like you know like platonic friends when you have like we you know women have so many male platonic friends and women like to talk about sometimes not always you talk about your boyfriend or your husband that my boyfriend is so stupid so funny my husband is in that style they are talking and it could very well be a girl also it's not necessary he's talking to a guy friend only it could be a girl like a girl who has very you know like some girls are very tomboyish some people are around i do see people in vicinity so he is telling this friend which could be a guy could be a girl it can be anyone though i initially i was seeing a guy but now i i also sense a very gossipy energy so this guy could also have feminine energy like or energy of gossip girls like you know men who are raised with lot of uh ladies who keep gossiping so they get this in their nature to gossip about women to gossip about others <laughs> it's that type of a friend so he's like oh really so you're talking about a girl you were with a girl so what did you what all did you imagine with the girl like how what were you doing and he's like no i was not doing anything but i just got like you know the way she looked at me the look she gave me and that look kind of scandalized me he's like oh so you got scared you're scared of that girl he's like oh no i'm not scared of that girl he's like you're scared of that girl he's like yeah i mean i want to talk to her i want to communicate with her but she would just um, i don't know what she's going to do to me so now they start laughing and the friend is pulling his leg so you're scared to talk to her man you're such a pansy he's like oh come on i'm not a pansy i can go and talk to anyone that's not a big deal but she is different she is a different kind of a person she is a different kind of a deal i don't want to mess my chances i don't want you know to go to her and she gets so mad angry at me like because she can get very angry she has a temper he's talking about the divine feminine that dude she has a temper you don't know she can actually beat the f out of you and he goes like are you serious yeah yeah i am very serious so they are having this really hilarious talk about the divine feminine and now i see another person joining this conversation who is more like a person who likes to listen in to other friends and now this friend has started pulling divine masculine's leg by saying that dude you know what there is a girl he wants to talk to her keeps talking about that girl i've been listening about this girl for so long but he doesn't have the guts to go up to her he is scared of that girl look at him and this then he starts laughing at him and he starts mocking him this divine masculine now this uh, friend is actually saying to the divine masculine that dude you are so scared of her it seems like you know you look like a little mouse in front of the cat it she looks like a cat and you you look like a mouse when you talk about her it's like the the cat is actually um, running after you and like a mouse you're hiding in some corner he's giving him those examples of tom and jerry we all know about the cartoon character tom and jerry and he's saying that yeah most guys are scared of women you know women some women he is actually pulling his leg now so the divine masculine is thinking oh my god what did i do should i have told him this or not 